I've been to a whole bunch of church in my life, and sometimes, uh, Mother Scott, I get to church and I get a little confused because people who claim to have the Holy Ghost are so quiet. People who are so sanctified, boom, um, they come to church and they sit and look cute and they, they put everything they got on and wear crosses and jewelry and, and all type of uh, rubies and diamonds, but you don't come to have church. And, and I, 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 I'm kind of confused of how you get dressed, put on your matching socks, you put everything together, matching cufflinks, or you got a purse to go with your heels and you got the right color mask to bling with, but then you come and chill at church. When God has opened doors for you, when God has beat the devil out of your life, when God has kept your mind, when God has kept your truth, I don't understand how people come to church and the Holy Ghost say, well, there's a group of people uh, that have gotten used to my presence. But the hard one, you got to be careful. When, when the presence of God is something that we've gotten used to. Because you do understand that God doesn't have to show himself. God does not have to make his presence known. Write this one down first. You have to get in position. Uh, so, some people want the presence but don't want to get in position. So, 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 in, in order to, to experience it, Pastor Bowden, the, the authentic power of God, you've got to get yourself in position. In other words, that they all came together with one mind. They had one agenda. They had it to the point that they said, God, we're going to wait on you because we have something that we want to see you do. Now, I don't know about you, but when I come to church, I have a goal in mind. That's why y'all see me sit there for just a brief moment. I don't have to be deep. I don't have to have the mic. It's when I think of the goodness of you. It's when I have a flashback of what God has done. My feet get light. My hands go up and my mouth is real with praise. Can you shout hallelujah? Many followed, but not all received the move. Many come to church. But not everybody experiences the same thing. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we don't experience the move of God because of low expectation. Have you ever just believed God for something that your bank account didn't uh, agree with? Have you ever believed God for something that the doctor has a disagree? Have you ever believed God for something bigger than what you could imagine or think? Look at somebody and tell them, raise your expectation. Thousands followed, but 120 experienced the move. So one would have to ask the question, how is it that all of these people are rolling? How, how, how is it that all of these people who saw him turn water to wine, how, how all these people showed up at church but only 120 uh, experienced the move? How is it uh, that every man heard in their language but yet it was a group that heard and thought that they were drunk? How is it that one person can see God and another person can see carnality. Well, my brothers and my sisters, it's a simple process. Somebody came looking for God. Somebody came looking for their healing. Somebody came looking for a breakthrough. And another group said, well, I just show up. If something happens, something happens. But if there's anybody in the room that said, I didn't wake up this morning so I could come and look at you, but I came to get my victory.
except us, and let's remember. Bless you for Susan Pizio. Thank you for calling call notes. <laughs> Have you ever sat up and messed around and fell in love with somebody who didn't love you like you loved them? Oh, here it is. God, thank you. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Sometimes you, 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 you run and gravitate to people who don't feel the same way about you. Preacher, 
said, you can preach, but you better learn how to pray. I heard somebody say, if you preach more than you pray, you won't be preaching long. <laughs> because you must understand that uh, much prayer equals much power. Little prayer equals little power. Musician, if you want to play, that's good. But don't forget to pray. Brother, sister, wife, daughter, mother, father, whatever you are trying to do, make sure that your prayer life is on TV. Make sure that whatever you're doing in capacity in ministry, in your house, on your job, that you got a prayer life. Because there's going to be some devils that you're going to have to face. There's going to be some problems that you're going to have to face. And if you don't have a prayer life, this stuff will take you out. How many of you know in the last days that the devil is going to try to wear out the saints? He's going to try to wear you out with problems. He's going to try to wear you out. But my brothers and my sisters, you better pray and praise. Why are we praying and praising? Because prayer and praise go hand in hand. Prayer is a weapon against the forces of darkness. Prayer stirs up the angels in heaven and in the earth. Prayer is an attack against the evil forces on your life. Yeah. <laughs> 